Televiewers, welcome once more. Today we have two great guys who have stopped here. This is just Porama. Media 2 Africa is really having a busy time uh, due to the Java Festival that's taking place here in DMV, precisely here in Washington, D.C. Uh, we have uh, the popular celebrated uh, DJ who is fondly called DJ Eric Lumessi. He is here in studio with us and uh, accompanied by the uh, one of the celebrities that will be participating in uh, the uh, Java Festival event. And he is right here with us, uh, Mao Etienne. Mao, welcome to our studio. Thank you. You're welcome. DJ Eric, same here. I'm very honored to have you on my platform. It's a pleasure to be here. Th thanks so much. Thanks you for, guys. I've always <laughs> been following what you guys do here. And, uh, Tell you too, I'm very, very impressed. Thanks, thanks, yes. DJ Eric. Thanks so much. And we also love what you're doing. Uh, all the great artists pass through you because you are a, a great guy. You've been doing, you know, ne you've never been doing anything light. All the things you do are great things, and people who collaborate with you that are always great success. I've never seen a simple musician, a kind of small, like we'll call it in a uh, jargon, small musician relating with you. All, all of the big guns. <laughs> so <laughs> we're proud of you, the good job you're doing. I know I've seen uh, Richard Bonner singing a happy birthday to you, yes. Kofi Olumide, and all these big stars. Right. Why would we not uh, give you that honor, give honor where it's due? Uh, uh, and uh, we, also, we also bring up uh, the younger generation, and, yeah. uh, and uh, it's, it's almost uh, an obsession. Because if, <laughs> if, if, you, um, if, you, if you only uh, uh, hang out with the big guns without trying to bring up yeah, there will be a gap yeah, somewhere. <laughs> yes, there's gonna be a gap, and, yeah. and, and 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 that that will not look good. Sure. Uh, for the future. Sure. Know? So the, the 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 thing is, okay, we get uh, we, we we try to get the younger generation yes, get inspired uh, mm -hmm. by the by the by the older, by the older guys. one. Yes, yeah. and uh, so that they can take the button and, and, and sure, 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 sure. Uh, thank you, DJ Eric, for the great things you're doing. Uh, thanks to you, we're having all the stars that pass through you. They get connected to you and equally connected to media too. And what we try to do, we're promoting all our African stars that come over here because we have a strong uh, uh, African community here in the DMV area, precisely here in the Washington, in Maryland, and in Virginia, for those who would not know uh, what it stands for DMV. So we are doing our best to make sure we promote all the stars that come over here because they're also uh, vehiculing uh, African culture here uh, to here in the United States. Uh, Mao uh, uh once more let me turn to you because the fans are itchy. They really want to know you when I shared your flyer. I received so many calls and people were like, uh, who is Mao <laughs> So, and today, if you go, if there's really a barometer, uh, Google and uh, uh, YouTube will tell you that people searched you today more than ever because they wanted to know who you are. So, this is an opportunity for you to really just tell your fans uh, who you are because they're looking up to come see what you'll be singing tomorrow. Tonight. Yeah, tonight. Tonight. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a hard question to answer because I really <laughs> don't know who I am yet. <laughs> I'm still, I'm, I'm still, still trying to figure out who I am as a person. Yeah, you know. But uh, what I do is I do music, and uh, I'm a creative guy, and uh, I try to, you know, I I try to put my message out there in wh any way I can. I have a lot to tell. I believe uh, I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. As an African, that. Uh, grow up in Australia in, in the United States and been traveling all around the world. 
I've mixed with a lot of multicultural, speak a lot of languages, and I've learned a lot. So who Mao is, I don't know. Maybe uh, just an experienced guy that's enjoying life and trying to learn more and grow up. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, it, it, it sounds like Mao Chen. Is it an artistic name or it's kind of biological? The name you adopted at birth. Actually, that's my birth name. I go on. I go on Mao. I go by Mao. Mm -hmm. But my name is Mao Etian. So I put the Etian aside and just go by Mao. Yeah. When I started doing music, I had a rap name. I was called Switch Pip Switch or something like that. Mm -hmm. Then I had a I had a teacher in high school that really made me like my name Mao because it was like Mao. Everyone was like Mao, Mao this, Mao that. Where's Mao? Yeah. I had a math so bad in class. So when he walk in the class, he write my name in the board like is Mao in class. <laughs> and everybody's like, no, he's gone. <laughs> so he just started calling me Mao, and mm -hmm. it started sounding good to me. Because when I started, I said, no, I need to, I need a music name. Mm -hmm. So I should go on Pip Switch or Pip or whatever. And I was growing up and changing names and changing them. But the more I start understanding myself and seeing different things and traveling the world, I kind of felt like I should go back into who I am. So where this name come from. It's a strong name, it's an African name. It's very powerful. So I inherit that name back. I'm like, I'm gonna go with Mao. That's the thing with maturity. You know, when we grow uh, mature, we get to take uh, our natural uh, sources. Like we go to adopt what we were, uh, the, the petty names that we had when we were growing up, we wanted to be some other people. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, but when you grow older, you like, oh, why not promote me? Let me do me. So yes. <laughs> that is the good thing with maturity. You sure. come to your senses. But uh, from adolescence, you feel like, oh, uh, if soccer players who are growing up, they would want to uh, uh, be Samuel Eto, a DJ Drogba, a right. coach. But the moment they grow up and they're making their name, they prefer then to be called who they are, so their names to to start getting that popularity. They they've been looking like the other players. They really cool, okay, carry their names, and it's good. Uh, you're already a, a very big uh, music star. I uh, saw so you have like two hundred thousand followers on Instagram and YouTube. Mm -hmm. That is great. That's right. Yeah, be, you you almost rivaling the uh, R Kelly and the rest. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and your man DJ Eric is very connected here. Uh, when R Kelly has to. Uh, uh, sing here. Uh, we saw about what happened to your guy who is now behind bars for what uh, we cannot say what is really happening because we see. <laughs> we were actually <laughs> listening to his music on the way here. You see, yeah. <laughs> so uh, DJ Eric has been uh, handling Alkiris uh, affairs here in the DMV yeah. when he had even to come over here and do a concert. And no, I related with DJ Eric just to try to get updates so I could not miss that opportunity to uh, attend Car Alkiris show. Unfortunately, that day came when I was in Los Angeles. So uh, Alkiris and DJ Eric, you and Mao, uh, what is really your your strength, DJ Eric? What is really you, you're like the pivot for all this? Uh, uh, celebrate celebrities here. In well, uh, when you do when you do uh, what you do with passion, yeah, I think uh, uh, it just pans out. That's mm -hmm. what I think. Yeah, yeah. Because if you if you do it with honesty and passion, mm -hmm. at some point, uh, and you keep on doing it persistently, yeah. At some point, it it, it, it it just comes full circle. You see what I mean? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, because. <laughs> Most of these uh, big artists, they are human beings too. You see mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. They uh, and then they don't they don't like uh, people who are fake. You understand? Sure. If you if you are honest with them, uh, they will they will they will be upfront with you. You see what I mean? Yeah. Uh, a person like Richard Bonner. Mm -hmm. It is times when I talk with him to the point where I tell him, yo, I really have to go and sleep. And he's like, yo, you want to go sleep? You're talking to Richard Bonner. You know? yeah. I'm like, yo, yeah, I understand, sir, but I really have to go and sleep. <laughs> you, you know, yeah, because if you really, uh, when you're honest and you have something that the other person can get from you, mm -hmm. you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. They, they, all, they, will, they will come around, you know. Him, for example, uh, I, I, I got to know him, uh, you know, growing up and all of that. And then uh, I never knew him as, uh, you know, the, the artistic part of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then when uh, I got to discover his art, right? Yeah. The number of places, I, I know he's going to get the opportunity to tell us sure. where he has performed uh, mm -hmm. uh, around the world. I was very impressed. And I was like, hey, this is somebody 
that we should take seriously. Mm -hmm. This is somebody that people need to know because uh, let's not wait for him to to become a big shot before you're before gonna, you're gonna be like, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Let's <laughs> let, let's let's celebrate ours right now. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's uh, that comes into the line with um, the uh, the vision of Java Fest. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Java Fest will bring people who are relatively not yet known in the community. That's how every artist starts. But then, but then it gives them the platform to, to, to perform with the big artists. Mm -hmm. Like tonight, he's going to perform tonight. Relatively not known mm -hmm. here. But he's known in Eastern Europe. He's known in Australia. Yeah. He's known in uh, all of these places. But he's not known in the, in, 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 the, in the United in, States. Yeah, the MV, yeah. United mm -hmm. States, and mm -hmm. all of that. But then they, they get the, ch the, t the chance to share the same platform with Peace, uh, P P Peter from Peter, Peace Square. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Rima TZ, from, from Rima. Mar Ma 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 Marvin Records. Yes. You see what I mean? Such opportunities are always very important. They give uh, they, 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 they are, they, they're relatively unknown artists yeah. confidence. And, and, and they, 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 they give them the chance to, to, to be known by yeah. a, a different... It serves like a springboard for them too. A springboard. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly mm -hmm. what, what, uh, what I'm thinking. So he's going to get, uh, get the chance to show. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> an interactive platform too. We have people watching all the way. We have Lovely Natem who's watching from Alana. Then we also have Patrick Lun uh, Patrice Lunego Siate, Lusape, Lusape, yeah. and I know he's That's a very a good friend, friend of yeah. us. Yeah. yeah. So uh, hi to you guys watching you will have questions if you have anything to ask uh, can just channel it uh, will you, you use my voice and Maui Chen will be ready to answer your questions or oh, DJ Eric right here uh, you stay connected and keep bringing up points if you have anything you want us to uh, really ask this uh, guest artist that we ready for you Mao Chen uh, Mao. DJ 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 I got Mao. Mao okay thank you DJ was just trying to give us a like kind of a uh, an insight so but you will give us because it's like you've not done a whole uh, you've not done great in uh, like so many shows in africa no where, yeah where you originally from yeah yeah although you were born in australia yeah. are your parents living in australia or uh, my mom is back in africa okay yeah she's gone back to the source yeah so uh you have been have you done shows in africa no, I haven't done no show okay. in Africa. But I shot a video in Africa mm -hmm. four years ago. Okay. The song changed. It's on uh, YouTube. Okay. Nice video. One of the best videos, I think. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I went back and dig into the songs, get that roots out. And I, one of the songs that I really like is it was so personal for me to go home and have my people and learn more stuff and get to know what's going on back mm -hmm. home. It was really beautiful. It's one of the beautiful videos that we put together. I, w I went for a holiday and we had a camera and there was just people dancing and you know we just yeah. shot everything when i get back home in australia we put it all together it's one of the best videos i have i think like i spend nothing shooting that video sure and one of the best videos meanwhile that's where you have to pay that crowd to yeah, put them in. yeah i yeah. know africa is kind of uh, they give you resources free same like <laughs> you know I to our, at a particular point you see people uh, take advantage of uh, right. us because we have it and we give it yeah. we feel like happy to be part of a uh, great artist like of your caliber who would come doing and we feel like let's be part of it and be proud to really just give our images and even performance yeah. but elsewhere you, you you get paid to participate in a, 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 a video shoot and st stuff like that that's right and, and i think uh, we uh you give us like kind of an acapella so your stars will see the kind of like f from your mouth know the kind of genre of music <laughs> that you do so some of them will start getting connected to or oh, we have him in studio and i think i would not be doing them any good if i don't ask you that question like give you that opportunity to do an a cappella so some of them start hearing what they will get tonight I don't know. I, I sing and I rap, so mm -hmm. singing or rapping? Both. If you oh. like do a sing a, 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 a song and you do kind of like perhaps two two minutes or something or even one one minute so or, that's, or, that's or, or that's one four song or, 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 or <laughs> so 30 <laughs> seconds <laughs> yeah just letting them know get a, a, the tips of an iceberg uh, like what <laughs> they will be getting tonight uh, i'll do a couple of the song i wrote a uh, change which i shot the video back home in africa okay the song is called change and change uh the reason i called that song change and the reason i took that video back to africa was just of the struggles that i'm seeing here in america uh with everything that's going on with the black and the white whatever's going on and the struggles back home in africa and mm -hmm. what i've seen in europe and yeah. eastern europe 
So I sat down and had to write a song called Change. And um, I, I really like that song. Mm -hmm. You know, that song is one of the songs that I get. Sometimes when I write music, I write about the future, sometimes what I dream about or think about. Mm -hmm. I've never really sit and look at what's going on and write about it. I was right about future stuff, futuristic mm -hmm. stuff. Yes. So change, change goes like um, he, has, he has a quarrels and he has a rap pad. The chorus goes that we dress to impress, we impress with dress. Everybody's trying to get a piece of bread. Yeah. So I kept rapping like Uber Drive from California told me I could change the world with my music. If I learn it for sure, damn I hear him. I never wanted to struggle. Walking downtown, seeing so many homeless people begging, my heart hurt. That's all I can give you for now. Yeah, that's good. That's you gotta check on the touching, song. man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, great. sure. That's <laughs> great, man. Sure. Yeah. So, can you go with the, the song now? Oh, the song. Yeah. <laughs> the song, gee. I know I've wrote so many songs. I'm on my fourth album. Actually, my album, Lost, just came out today. Mm hmm the fourth album I have, the fourth digital album I got now. So when we talk of singing, I'll probably just sing anything. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm a singer. DJ Eric, you want to show me an idea? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, an artist, as an artist, I would prefer you to, to choose. It's like a buffet table. You, you, you <laughs> yeah. choose what, what you want to serve to us. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You just put me on a spot right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of what I can sing about. Um, love song or just... Yeah, play. especially love songs, you know. Most of your followers... The ladies are out there. The ladies are out there. They can't wait to listen to <laughs> love songs. <laughs> sure. Okay, let's try some. Let's see. If I got the voice. I've been drinking with DJ last night, so I don't know what I'm going to sing. Beauty has changed. DJ, my first time in uh, Maryland, mm -hmm. Baltimore, DJ has been taking me all over. So Yeah, DJ, in, is, yeah. DJ is the, the landlord here. <laughs> Let me see if I can do something. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Um, you used to be everything that I want to have. Until the day I saw you in the hands of another man I don't want to go on with you like that You are something that I could have But I'm gonna stay away Now that I'm grown up I'm finding my way I wanna fall in love Feel it, love it Make it sound like someone that need it Wow! <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Wow, that's good, man. Try and now. you see, your music, even the one you're uh, rapping and the one you're singing now, uh, you see, it's kind of uh, coming back to like uh, when you, you grow mature. Yeah. You see, you go back to the original thing. Right. You abandon the fake we take uh, along the way, but you become the real you. Yeah. So even uh, the rap that was talking, like you going downtown California, you yeah. see people who are homeless and stuff yeah. so you see the maturity in your lyrics man that's a great job uh, uh that's why i say uh, great people go together you and dj eric you guys uh only you, uh, great people make friends mostly only with great people you don't see <laughs> the opposite right. hanging out together yeah. so uh, uh, if i may uh, uh, uh modest, um uh if i may what i could say is uh pretty much art reflects life yes yeah, sure you see what i mean sure uh him singing about uh the homeless the, mm -hmm. the people who are s struggling and mm -hmm. all of that it, it it reflects uh his 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 everyday life and uh, and um and uh one role of an artist mm -hmm. is really to be like a mirror of society uh let people uh while enjoying the the, the beat and the rhythm also uh have some introspection sure. and, uh, and just to see what could be done to, to make things better so sure. so there's there's some artists who are like um, who, who who take that as a role and 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 do uh, uh, what do you, what I call uh, uh, avant-gardist mm -hmm, music mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm, they, uh, yeah. they 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 they, they uh, Christian society mm -hmm. but there are others who uh, who also just sing about love 
you know, sure. have somebody like Petit Pay, he mm-hmm. goes just sing. Oh Your man, man, he sings just about love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right? You would not, you hardly see, hear him sing something that you could actually go and reflect. But mm-hmm. that's music too. He sure. and, 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 and that's also a form of art. Which is mm-hmm. respectable, yeah, if you sure. know what I mean. Yeah, I, I would l- like to uh, l- l- uh, know from him. Um, let him just give us a sm- snippet of where he has performed this far. You know, he says. Yeah, sure. Performed, uh, like you were born in Australia, you grew up in Australia. You've had a, but you've also been in America. So perhaps, like your places you stopped, you did some performance. So. Some people will be trying to identify themselves with you. Oh, we we were in were your concert here. Why are you not? Why are you not telling us that you stay here so we feel proud? You know. So that's why some of your fans surely watching saying you stay here. You did perform here. Just tell the way you performed here. And you know, to be exactly, um, to be honest with you, I'm, I feel very. I'm so proud right now to be in the studio with you guys right mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. because. Um, I never felt like I had audience that come from where I come from, my yeah. people. Mm-hmm. My music always reflect to the lifestyle that I've been in. You eat yeah. what you have or you eat what's beside you. Sure. So um, I had more fans that were just white or African Americans or Europeans and I never really had African people yes. trying to sure, get sure. into my music. Mm-hmm. So when uh, when DJ Eric reached out, I'm like, I ain't not missing this opportunity. Sure, I'm coming out here and I'm I'm doing the show because I'm trying to. I mean, I've grown older now. I'm tapping back to my road. I'm trying to mm-hmm. get what's for me out there. And um, I did a show. I've done shows in LA because I, I lived in LA for two years. Mm-hmm. In 2014, I was out here for two years. I had a contract in LA for two years. Mm-hmm. And I went back to Australia. So I did a few shows in LA. Okay. I went back to Australia. I do shows back home in Australia, every state. I've done shows in, I, I had a contract last year, one year contract in Eastern Europe. Mm-hmm. So I was in Poland, I was in uh, Czech Republic, I was in Hungary, I was in Belgium, and I, was, I did in Paris, I did uh, UK, uh, I did Kiev in Ukraine. Mm-hmm. So Poland, I did Krakow. Czech, I did um, what's that city called? Uh, I forgot the name of that city. Yeah. So I had all Eastern Europe. I did about five countries in Eastern Europe, and then about four in Europe. Wow. Yeah. Y- and you I'm must planning to do surely speak soon. so many languages, right? I speak so many languages. I've heard so many languages. It's crazy because when I had a I had a contract in Eastern Europe for a year, mm-hmm. and I arrived in Poland. Most locals just speak their language, sure. So I had an Uber and taxi and all that. But you know, doing that every day, I got to learn faster. And traveling to Czech and going to Hungary, going to all these different places, Belarus and all these places, mm-hmm. they have they have their own thing going on. Yeah. But I mean, as an artist, your job is to learn. Sure, sure, all sure. All you do is learn. Just. Even if you just need to learn uh, where where is the taxi park, at least those things are necessary that's, that's all you <laughs> to, gotta to, do. to survive, man. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, you'll be uh, performing tonight uh, at the Java Festival. Right. Is it just tonight, or you have some other days you? First time in uh, Maryland, and mm-hmm. I'm performing. I'm excited. Yeah. Thanks to DJ. I appreciate you so much. Thanks to you for bringing me here. You're I appreciate man. you guys. Mm-hmm. And I can't wait to be coming back here. So DJ gotta make some happen. Sure, 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 sure. You we can count on us for that. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking we, uh, because we uh, uh, challenge ourselves to like uh, make sure we do push you guys too. Yeah. Because music and uh, the, like communication, they, they relate together. Right. Yeah. Because if we doing what we're doing and we cannot push our brothers who are doing great. That it, it, it's really entertaining people. Right. And it's like part of communication where we are relating what is happening to the people out there. So the fans, they want to know, they want to know about you guys that come and sing and go. So that is why when we get that opportunity, yeah. like we are looking up to DJ Eric and the rest to like tomorrow probably if we uh, uh, find time. We, we might be bringing Peter of uh, uh, P Square over yes. here, right. and uh, some other stars who will be participating in the event. So some of them who will have that opportunity to will come here and expose them to the world from our platform. So that is what we try to do. And you guys too have uh, not been uh, at least the fact that you patronize our uh, platforms too. We we just owe you that. It's a kind of free publicity because we use your songs too to entertain our viewers right. because henceforth 
you surely will be getting the rights from you to play your song so the world knows it and so people get to love your music too right so that is why this kind of a, a, a connection a relationship that is just natural yeah and having that opportunity to be with dj uh when we meet in the neighborhood we just brothers we don't talk showbiz right. but <laughs> this is uh, where i have the opportunity to relate yeah. with dj about showbiz because he has a whole uh, very, a very loaded schedule because i see you if you're not going out to atlanta with something or you are in new york with one musician one star so yes. that is why as i said you like the pivot of all uh, coming artists and equally when i saw you were relating already with r kelly and the rest i was like DJ is all weather, man. Yeah. So <laughs> surely, actually, actually yeah. um, th some people actually wanted to uh, to get our career to Cameroon, mm -hmm. and uh, I did all the negotiations, did everything, and you know how our country is. Yeah, sure. The, when it came for them to start to to pay a deposit, one guy called me problem. and told me, uh, "Can I talk to the artist? Can I talk to the artist?" Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Yo, <laughs> why do you need to talk to the artist?" Mm -hmm. I'm talking with the artist management team. Yeah, because Why communication passes but through you, well, not to directly to the artist. Right. They just they just complicate everything. Yeah. And and there's this other example of what happened uh, with, with this guy who who, who brought Akon to Cameroon mm -hmm. the first mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. He he brought Akon to Cameroon. He's a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a, a nightclub in uh, in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Brought Akon under uh, MTN. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but then on going to Cameroon, they had they they paid the deposit. But yes. The, but the but the uh, the preamble of the contract was, once they arrive once they arrive with the artist, and they, they should they, they make sure they pay the rest of the yeah, money. and they are lodged at Sawa Hotel mm -hmm. in Duala. He has to come and take the rest of the money. Yes. Okay. Okay. He took a white lady mm -hmm. from here, just like a PR some sure. and, and, and 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 took her to Cameroon. Right? Mm -hmm. He got to Cameroon and went to MTN to take the rest of the money. Yes. They started going round and round. Hey, why, why should we give That's so unprofessional, this money man. to a Cameroonian? That's so why should we give all this money to, yeah. uh, to uh, you know, a fellow Cameroonian? Meanwhile, he has brought the artist. He yes. left from there without the money. Got to the hotel, sent this white lady there. Yes. They gave all the money to the white lady. And sh she came with the money and gave it to him. He went back there <laughs> and told them, "Why did you, ha you, did you why do you guys have to make me go through this?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we we don't value our own. We don't, yeah, value we don't our really own. value our own. Yeah, because because uh, uh, why would he have to go through that? Yeah, at one moment you just feel like we have a kind of inferiority complex. Inferiority complex. Yes, yeah. Why did they give it mm -hmm. to the white lady? Meanwhile, he was there. Yes, and, and they didn't, he, they didn't to give, give it to him. him. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's the real G. He's the, the white, white lady. Is just a, a, a public relation, That's a, a, a mistress, and stuff like that. That's all. And they would look at him and say, "Oh, black guy like yeah, me, so come to take like, this whole oh, big lot of money." Yeah, he just grew up around us here. Meanwhile. Akon is doing great stuff, man. He's electrifying uh, uh, Royal Africa, right. like with his personal money. I think I think he got a, a twenty billion uh, uh, project back home. Yeah, yeah, which is financed from China. Yes. 20, twenty billion. Uh, 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 he's doing solar, solar. Yeah, solar. Uh, like, uh, yeah, electric. Uh, uh, electrifying uh, the villages, rural, rural areas, areas mm -hmm. where where there's no no accessibility to uh, electricity. He's, he's a great guy. I think that's the greatest thing somebody has done to Africa. Yeah, like I, think, I when, think so too. Yeah, because he doesn't have any political ambitions. He worked hard to earn his name. Yes. And uh, after that, he's taking this money to go do this kind of exactly. big project. We hope that when, when Mao reaches somewhere, yeah. he's, he's going gonna, he's gonna to remember us. And <laughs> yeah, sure. And that brings us up to the, the, us to that point. Mao, what really uh, pushed you to, into music? After school, you just diverted. Is it kind of a natural thing that you were just singing and just gradually walked into that uh, uh, field, or you got inspired by somebody and decided, oh, like let me try to be this, and already you're the person you wanted to be? Um, I think it came. It came from the roots. Mm -hmm. My my father's brother was a artist. I heard. I never met him. He died mm -hmm. before I was born or some shit like that. He was in a band. But my father never really sang. My mom used to sing in the house because she was a housewife. She's always singing in the house. 
and she got me to join a choir at a young age. Mm -hmm. So I was doing choir, and I hated it so much. I didn't want to do that. I know. <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to be the guy, the guy in the town, uh, singing choir and all that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, when after that. Um, when I went to high school, then we had all these activities in high school. We have socials, yes. studies, and everything where you could choose what you wanted to mm -hmm. do. And I focused on play. I focused on playing uh, soccer. Mm -hmm. But my brothers were good soccer players, and we were very competitive. So sure. I, all the time, we talk about who was the best player. Each of my brothers kept saying, I'm this and that and that. But they don't really know how good I am in soccer. Though that I'm doing music, mm -hmm. I'm a very good soccer player. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I turned to find myself writing in yeah. the house, so I was writing and start putting lyrics together, and it all kind of started like a joke. Like when I was uh, probably 11, mm -hmm. I used to sing in the house. I would do stuff like that, sing in the house. And my father was, uh, my father was a uh, Cali Christian. He was a good guy, and he loved church and he loved that. And he has this little game he used to play like every Sunday if he could repeat. What was sang in church? Then you get a bottle of Fanta. Mm -hmm. you know, those Fanta back, those bottles back in the yeah. day. Fanta yeah. bottles. <laughs> so, if you could sing like what was going on in the mass early in the morning, yeah. and then you get a bottle of Fanta. <laughs> I would always win that prize. So we started from there. Before I know it, um, I joined a group at the age of uh, um, probably sixteen. I had my first group. I was sixteen. We did something. We together. We never put a. Uh, uh, that we, they had cassette tape back then, and mm -hmm. we couldn't afford for a studio, so we would just meet around and sing and hit drums and whatever. That was <laughs> that's see. how we all started. And it built your vocals, and now you're a professional, yeah. and you're living from the music that you right. didn't want to do in church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, how at time your talent is trying to is bubbling to get out of you, like so you can follow you. I'm like you're yeah. holding it. I prefer soccer. Meanwhile, yeah. God wanted to use you for a different thing. Right. So <laughs> you see, so it's really great. Uh, you fans get to know you a lot uh, for the days you're here. I think we'll always be welcoming uh, uh, you and D D D D DJ Rick to come here, be it anytime. Right. We'll be observing a, a commercial break after which uh, the fans will get to perhaps if they're writing some questions or get to ask it relating to what they are asking because some of them wanted to know if you're single and stuff but those answers we'll give it to them when we come back from the co <laughs> commercial break uh, so we'll be observing a, a commercial break when we come back um, Mao will be ready to answer all your questions so those who have been writing trying to know if he's single uh, no he's a very handsome guy and probably he will give his answers and so your your your, your questions will be answered when we come back from a commercial break thank you yeah. Me yo, baby, another one. I'ma scope you like that. Don't buy it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding, kidding, kidding. I don't wanna know your friends. All I need is you. Go, my. I'm coming by to get it, begin it, and we ain't gonna play no more. How much time do I need a pass, babe? You're my pass, I'm your pass. I'm as copy like that, got it? You get it.
feel like that, yeah, yeah. Don't bite back. I'ma scope you like that. One step out of time. Don't bite back. Step out of line. I'ma scope you like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't bite back, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I'ma scope you like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't bite back, uh huh. I'ma scope you like that. One yeah. step out of yeah. time. Don't bite back. Commercial break. Uh, if you stayed t- connected during the commercial break, you must have seen one of the uh, songs of Mao uh, that was going on there. That is one of the songs he uh, performed in. Uh, they, they, they shot the, clay, the clip in uh, Australia, and Mao is right here in America with us. That is the opportunity we have when we have a uh, big events happening in your vicinity. So uh, the Java Festival has given us a whole lot of opportunities to uh, really get connected to our uh, celebrities that are coming all the way from Australia, Africa. Like yesterday, we had a, t- a TZ uh, Pancha, and uh, we'll be having p- probably, perhaps, uh, if God permits, uh, the Peter of P Square tomorrow. So that would be great. And uh, t- as uh, we had know, some other, other v- events are on the, uh, coming up uh, with DJs connections and other uh, relations that we have out there uh, relating to showbiz. We'll surely be bringing a couple of uh, good musicians on board again. Uh, we Before we went for the commercial break, we had uh, fans who were already asking if uh, Mao is single. So this opportunity to turn the mic to Mao. Mao, are you single? Am I single? Um, I'm very private. I'm a private person. I, I like to keep that side of me private. Yeah. But when I do have someone special, I treat them like a queen. Oh, so right now there, there's there's no queen in your life. That's a very Ma- diplomatic answer. Ma- 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 you 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 are, you are you are a musician. You are not a politician, man. So s- these people out here they wanna know: Are you single? The ladies who are looking, uh, watching this show, they wanna uh, be at the Java Festival so they can feel free to dance around you. So if you, I mean, I, c- I can always take a dance or two. But, yeah, you know with. When it comes to my love life, I try to keep it private. Okay. For those uh, various reasons, I just you know it's uh, love is very strong and it's special. Sure. So I always try to make that a bond of privacy for me. I I like that when I'm with someone, I get to treat them the way they want to be treated. Yeah. But it's just I don't put it out there like that. I just you know I that part of me is for me. Sure. Uh, I want to say a special hi to Leslie Yvette Tanto who's been watching and also we have Leonel Tanya who's equally watching and a big hi to my son uh, Denzel Levi uh, Mbunwe uh, who is home now and now is jumping up and down surely my wife must not be having peace that I left home uh, because that guy is kicking strong so uh, equally uh, Mao uh, you'll be performing tonight yes, and, sir. Yeah, and uh, people really look up to see uh, have a first taste of you here in the U.S. I'm sure you're That's getting it. ready to put a great show out there. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, you have a kind of a, a dancers who will be accompanying you on stage? Or no, no. I'm doing it alone. I'm on stage by myself tonight. Just okay. me and the microphone and the audience. Yeah. Is it live or kind of playback? It might be live. Okay. It's live. 
Oh, then uh, that, that's, that's fine true. because it's more interesting when you get to see the musician perform live rather right. than just perhaps staging a playback. Right. So that's the big thing that is happening with the Java Festival. We have Ma, we have DJ Eric, the celebrated DJ here. We have uh, with us. We are just so uh, very busy these days because the stars are just around. All of them, they will be stopping by all the time. DJ Eric surely have something to uh, tell your stars again, tell your fans about uh, some other connections that you have out there, and equally uh, let people know that if they have events, they pass through you. They can get any musician because you just the clock of the finger you have any star yeah uh, well steps. yeah th i do actually booked uh Toto Guillaume for mm -hmm. for an event in, uh, in chicago for for the 20th of january mm -hmm. um yeah they uh, they can always contact me i will always know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, somebody. who knows somebody <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a big one because that is, that's how the chain goes right, right. Yeah. That's clock. Mm -hmm. yeah and then uh, <laughs> uh, but tonight is all about java festival festival just Afro Vibes mm -hmm. annual festival. I want everybody to come out, get your tickets. If you don't have your tickets right mm -hmm. now, you can actually get them online at javafest.org. Yes. Javafest.org. Uh, you get in there, uh, get your tickets. They are so cheap. Tickets are just $25. Yeah. You're going to have at least 20 artists performing tonight. Wow! At least twenty artists performing tonight. Yeah, you know, alongside uh, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. P from P, uh, P Square mm -hmm. and uh, um, Rima, who is uh, Marvin Records uh, protege. Yes, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so he, he's gonna perform too. So, I can't wait as well like, to see my boy perform tonight. And uh, I hope everybody comes and uh, and we celebrate this pre Thanksgiving party as i call it sure together <laughs> can you give us an insight a kind of pe most people are asking what is java festival uh, some of us know mm -hmm. but from a person like you the one who will get like from the horse's mouth know some details about what is behind java festival the the idea with java festival is simple uh putting uh, uh putting everybody together uh it's called just afro vibes Festival. It's a it's an it's a platform where we project uh, uh, relatively unknown artists, mm -hmm. and they share this they, they're the same stage with with with, with, the, known with, with the known artists. And then uh, yeah, th not only that, you also have fashion. Mm -hmm. There's going to be soccer. Uh, it's pretty much br bringing the community uh, together. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I think uh, if we, we come together and we share uh, we, our business ideas, we, we network together, uh, we have a better chance of growth. It's, it's, it's the same way the Jews actually did to be so successful in this, uh, yeah. in this country. Uh, if you, if you uh, come, come uh, together as people from one background mm -hmm. and share with each other you might discover that you might need something that a friend of mine will have yes for example you are the media guys yes. and, and 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 the artist like he is needs you mm -hmm. sure you see we so so, so, so this is already the pr platform this yeah. is this is the idea of java first yeah and uh, I, I just hope people will understand it that way and then they come out because uh, they're gonna, there's gonna be uh, one uh, this uh, uh, what do you call it uh, tonight and tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then there's gonna be a day party on Sunday, and there's gonna be the next Java Fest here again uh, in six months time. Yes, in the summer. So there's gonna be a, a way, another a way bigger one uh, in the, in in the summer. Yes. yes, in six months time. Yeah. So so people just have to believe in in the in the in the um, the concept the concept of mm -hmm. java and then just just come out and have yeah, we have, just uh, fun. we have we uh, have Nicolas Ngu Santos uh, who's saying yes. DJ Great Show DJ Lo Messi Bravo Maurice, It's been a long time, yes. but I think uh, we have to do a show on uh, humanitarian intervention for uh, refugee and pre yeah, uh, Doctor Doctor Nicolas, Doctor, Doctor always, Nicolas Ngu Santos, uh, Doctor Nicolas, uh, uh, I've been expecting your call equally, uh, but probably you know you are a great guy. Anytime we uh, have you on our platform, we always have a. Uh, uh, people really wanting to hear because you are a great contributor of uh, especially when it has to do with uh, humanitarian uh, issues you are like the uh, the, the antidote 
So we're looking up to talk so we see if we can uh, bring you up uh, for something. So thanks, uh, Dr. Nicholas, for getting uh, connected. Uh, DJ Eric is still here with us. He surely have to uh, say something again about the Java Festival. So before coming back to DJ Eric, Mao, who is the guest artist tonight, who will be showcasing his talent uh, at the Java Festival. It is now thanks to you that I know that Java is uh, just Afrobeat. Uh, it's yeah. yes, just Afro Vibes Afro, Annual Festival. Uh, just Afro Vibes our Festival. Yes. Yeah, th th that name is great, man. That's yes. really the kind of concept we need mm -hmm. to do. Like I've seen, uh, we're now already uh, advertising buy blacks, uh, consume black and yes. stuff. So, like Fubu, yeah. Fubu is for us by us. This is our own. Yeah. See, right? For at least let's do our own. That's right. why we need to project our own and make it really big. Yes. So, uh, Mao. Tonight is your day. How, how are you feeling? You have just a few hours to be on stage. I'm excited and I'm hoping to take back more fans from here. Sure. You'll take more that's fans why, for that's, me. That's why I came out here. So yeah. I'm taking everybody back to L.A. <laughs> it's the, I got connected uh, uh, that I'll be hosting you, Mao, that I, I happen to watch uh, some of your great, great works Thanks. and getting to know that you're very connected. You have more than 200,000 uh, uh, followers on Instagram and same time with uh, YouTube, people following you for the good music you're doing. Uh, it, it, it's great. That is why uh, they say exposure is a big thing because yes. I, I believe even in my free time, I would love I would love listening to your music. Me, me, I didn't even have a, a, a clue. Hmm. But the whole day of today I played you and I was like, oh, this kind of music that would have been entertaining me. Thanks to the fact that I get I got connected that I'll be hosting you. I wanted to know who you are. Then I fell in love with your good music you're Thank playing. You. Yeah. Sure and I believe you really get a a good a bunch of fans from here because something I love I, I prefer I have a, I, I know I have a good taste and people surely love you too so tonight Mao you staging precisely at what time I don't know I think I might probably be on stage by midnight to one yeah uh, is that yeah. Yeah, that's, that's correct, DJ. Pretty much. Yeah, it's gonna. Our uh, performances will will start by about eleven p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if 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 everybody respects time. Yes. You know, uh, <laughs> it's this thing. I know. When I'm when I'm DJing parties, I always keep saying this. People should just stop saying we are sorry for the late start. Because yes. This is. It's, it happens everywhere. everywhere. We should just forget about it. Not we just, should avoid not starting <laughs> events by saying we're sorry for the late start. <laughs> so, guys, come early. The just event is starting time. early. We yes. have a whole a long list of uh, disgraced artists who will yes. be doing singing songs, varieties from Makosa to yes. Afrobeat, a whole bit of everything, a kind of a blend. That's Africa in miniature tonight. Yes. So get there early and be part of the great show. Yes. Uh, DJ Eric, you surely have something again to say a lot about the Java Festival so people really know what is coming up. Uh, the proceeds from Java Festival, is there a kind of a solidarity uh, project in the pipeline or targeting yeah. to do something? Well, the organizer, uh, they, 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 they have uh, humanitarian uh, uh, activities that they do uh, back home. Like there is uh, this, especially with what is happening right now in in in, in English speaking part of Cameroon. Yes. Uh, they they try to assist the internally uh, displaced displaced uh, personality persons, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I think that's the most noble thing you can do right now. Yeah. I don't care where you stand, where you stand is as far as the struggle is concerned. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know that when elephants are fighting. Is the, the grass the nature that, surface, that actually yeah. surface? Yes. So there are people who are caught up in this, uh, in the way that they really can. They, they they didn't ask to be there. Yeah. And then uh, all you can do is put your hands together and and give some support to them. And I think that's a very noble thing they are doing. And I I I, I, I bought into this idea all th all to uh, because of that too because I I saw in what they do uh, something noble. Uh, that could uplift uh, us as a community. Oh, that's great. Uh, all of us heard from J DJ Eric. It's not just about the music. Uh, they're looking up to really uh, be of help to the international, internally uh, displaced, uh, displaced uh, persons uh, that are suffering from the crisis back home. You see, this thing is not kind of not limiting and Cameroon, uh, uh, Cameroonians in the diaspora, Africans as a whole, are really uh, putting hands together to see that they uh, come, they form a synergy that can fight some of the crises that are caused by our, our political big guns. 
uh, thank God we are we, we, we are getting up from the slumber and really taking the position that do, does belong to us because uh, the youths were kind of very dominant for a very long time sure. and the, the, the politicians would uh, play with our future and fortunately it's never late uh, the, 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 it's better late than never yes they're taking so, my yeah, message sure. hands, and, uh, because yeah we can only gi give props to everybody who is uh, uh, engaged in one way or the other sure uh, and uh, we hope that peace comes uh, one as, as this, you know as soon as possible that's the targeted so that, goal so that everybody can uh, continue uh, to live in harmony yes yes I don't know I don't I don't know how it's going to come mm -hmm. but uh, the, when it comes to that it's a very dicey topic uh, everybody has their own uh, opinion uh, you know I have mine, mm -hmm. but uh, I know <laughs> yeah. people who were different. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Dr. Nicholas has his. Uh, uh, yeah, he has uh, his own which, opinion. Which I <laughs> and uh, you mentioned uh, the games that will be played beside, and um, our guest Aris uh, Mao uh, said before becoming a musician, he's been playing soccer. So uh, we're going to have a platform that will have the opportunity to see our stars convert into. <laughs> yeah. the There's actually an, an indoor soccer game tomorrow. Uh, really? really? Uh, yes, tomorrow. Uh, At what time precisely? Uh, I think 2 p.m. Uh, so uh, all, of, uh, all of the artists are going to be uh, uh, Jack himself is going to play. Uh -huh. We hope he doesn't hurt himself and yeah, not perform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then there's, it's going to be an indoor soccer game. Too. Yeah. Yes. Mao, what uh, position will be playing if that uh, game I'm happens? I'm a striker. You're a striker. <laughs> I'm striking everything. Most most players go for the striking part. If everybody want to play ahead, who would defend? Everybody. Everybody <laughs> wants to be somebody Most of the too. people I talk with uh, <laughs> and they tell me they were soccer players. When I say what is your position, striker. he tells me a striker. Hardly I'm a goalie, I'm a, a defender. And, uh, everybody <laughs> wants to be the one to yeah. score. I think, I think the world is so tough that everybody is just trying to make a name or yes. trying to achieve something. Mm -hmm. So uh, every individual feel like they're striking at something. Yes. yes. That and would be the it, it, it's true. That is really why at times they say do something for the passion, for yeah. what you believe in. Right. Because if you are uh, like, uh, there are things we do for, for a living, but there are things you do just for the love of doing it right yes because like uh being on this platform is something i loved uh, growing up I can uh, tell. yeah i loved growing up and beside this i'm a, a, a lead technology i'm a database administrator but i love what i'm doing right. so yes. this is something that i feel like when I, i'm expressing uh, that that gift of uh, of life that I, I had and i hope to really take it to a different level uh, someday and having people like you already on the platform your 200,000 fans will eventually know that you were interviewed somewhere and if they get to follow us that's already something great yes. and with DJ DJ is one of the most followed uh, DJs in the US yeah that is why I think I always wear his weight from the the followers he has on social media all right. because all the big stars that come they pass through him so that is why I, it really tricked I, I, it got to push me to ask uh, why is DJ always at the front line when it comes to musicians. I know so many other popular DJs. And not, you try, see? And not trying to be a musician. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying to be a musician. Uh, DJ, have you ever been tempted or like been uh, inspired to sing or do something? Because I see you do so many live shows. <laughs> Especially when you get a little bit tipsy. My voice is horrible. <laughs> I, I don't think I can ever consider singing because, uh, but then I, there's enough artists out there already. Let's just actually put some value to them. If everybody sings, who's gonna dance? <laughs> <laughs> DJ, we have your, we have one of our, our, our friends here, Emajua, who is saying, "Hey, DJ Eric Lomesi, yeah, it's yes. about time you 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 host debates <laughs> on panels." <laughs> yeah, thanks, Emma. We're looking up to that mm -hmm. immediately. Uh, after this uh, uh, show with Mao, we'll probably be having a debate yes. uh, that we'll be talking about uh, affairs that is happening back in Cameroon. Yes. We'll be hosting Kenneth and uh, another deba debater. So, uh, Emma, if you stay on after uh, talking with DJ and Mao, you'll probably be following a political debate. So, uh, um, uh, the DJ and Eric, we guys have uh, uh, five minutes to share. So, say, give a, a last talk to your audience so I, I start with DJ so Mao come all right ladies and gentlemen uh, I always say uh, I have a healthy obsession with music a healthy obsession is, with music is I, I, I collect everything and then I play what uh, I, I, I monitor the crowd before I play the music yeah but then I have everything 
So that's what I call an obsession. Yeah. Uh, obsession. You have to have an obsession, but that obsession needs to be healthy. Sure. If the obsession is not healthy, you are going to find yourself at the point where you play only what you like, and if you play only what you like, you will never be a good DJ. Sure. So uh, <laughs> tonight we have a huge array of artists. It's all about Java Fest tonight. I wish to see everybody there. Everybody come out looking nice. It's going to be a huge party. We're probably going to close at about 5 o'clock in the morning or something like that. So uh, just just pull up. Let's have fun. Okay. Thank you very much. That's and good. thank you very much, Modest, for inviting us to this beautiful platform. Thanks, and, thanks, uh, thanks. All I can do is, uh, all I can say is to wish you guys uh, good good wind uh, on your sails yeah. because as you were saying you love what you do and when you love what you do it's it, 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 it comes out everybody knows it it, 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 it uh, nobody uh, nobody can fake journalism yeah, so, so. yeah there's you can go to school as much as you want but if you were not born if you don't have those innate talents yes, of, yeah. of, of, of of being a journalist you will never ever uh, thank you. A good one. Thanks so, so much. So DJ. props to you. Man. Thanks, thanks, yeah. bro. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mao. We have uh, you now to round up everything. You are the guest artist. Uh, people have been very entertained. I see the comments flowing. Uh, people love you already. So mm. like after tonight, surely you have a whole chunk of. Uh, uh, follow us on this place. Yeah, uh, actually, and then you have to give your Instagram uh, key as well. Yes, uh, equally. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll start by thanking you so much. You make you just made me feel at home. I feel comfortable being interviewed by you. Thanks. I've been interviewed by a lot of people, but people don't ask me personal questions like you did, which was cool. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. And, um, you know, you just made me feel at home, and I want to appreciate DJ2 for really engaging me on this stuff bringing me out here in Baltimore because I'm based in California right now. Mm -hmm. I'm an Australian artist based in California and they just flew me all the way out here. Yeah. So I do appreciate that. I do appreciate being at your platform, you exposing us out there. Thanks, man. I'm very grateful. And this month is one of the greatest months. This is my best month, November. I'm a Scorpio. Wow. I just released an album today. It's called Latest Mao. Okay. Uh, this is Mao. The Spotify. album is called Letters. Mm -hmm. It's on Spotify. It's on every, every outlet right now. YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, eMusic, whatever. You can get it online. And I'm performing some of the songs from that album tonight. Well, so you don't want to miss Java Face. And that is appreciation of DJ. And um, to come Instagram. Through, yeah, Instagram. Instagram. My Instagram is Mao World Music. M A O World Music. Okay. You find me. Hit me up. I want to work with all my brothers from home. Any artists you feel like you got something to do, you want to music, you will DJ. Hit me up. Let's do some. I'm here to get it. You know. Thanks, 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 Mao. Uh, that is a very great one. We thank you so much for stopping by, DJ and Mao. Uh, you guys really gave our fans a great entertainment for tonight. Uh, we know that after this, we'll be having a political debate. So those who still have time to stay connected, they will have one of uh, the debates because it's been a while that we didn't have people to come to the platform and talk politics. So tonight we'll be having uh, Kenneth, who will be... Uh, uh, also bringing on board the, the, another debater. So uh, I'm saying a special hi to uh, my wife, Yvonne. I'm equally uh, talking to uh, uh, Betila Tanto, who's my kid sister all the way from Utah. He will be participating to at uh, the Java Festival. Uh, she is uh, into biz business, business and showbiz. It's really something that goes together. I uh, say a special hi to Adrian uh, Chida that we can popularly called Makish, uh, should be in New York by now. Uh, we rounding up and thanking those who uh, tuned in to uh, connect. Uh, before I can go, I must always uh, say a big thank you to uh, Marisha Tiamo, president, who's behind the, the big our, brain, our yeah, festival. the big brain behind the uh, uh, Washington Awards. Uh, equally, we have behind a uh, technical dashboard, we have uh, Ju Kamful Lati, who has been doing a great job single-handedly, uh, connecting the, the team in Europe and team here. Ju Kamful Lati, I uh, say uh, kudos. Uh, equally, uh, Honore uh, Fomko, who is presently out of state. Uh, big thank you on, uh, for your call. I missed your call. Then I know we'll be relating. Thank you, televiewers. Stay connected for uh, subsequent shows. Uh, Why uh, we uh, prepare for that? I say, uh, have nice day, uh, Mao and uh, 
DJ Eric at the uh, Thank you. Java Festival. We'll surely meet there when we finish the next Thank show. Thank you. Thanks so much. It's been an honor having you guys on show. Thank you very much. Yeah. The pleasure is ours. Yeah, son. Bro. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye, televiewers.